What's going on guys? Vincent here from thecreativedojo.net. Hope you're all doing well out there. Today in this video, we're actually going over three new products from the folks over at AE Juice. They are huge supporters of the channel. They are sponsoring today's video and stay tuned for a huge, massive giveaway. And they have a huge sale where they're actually giving you the I Want It All bundle for a total of $149. This includes all the products that they have, including the ones that we're gonna talk about today in this video. The total worth of the products is actually $2,000 and you're gonna get everything for 150. So this is a huge killer deal, very cool stuff. Don't miss out on the Black Friday deal right here. And so anyways, today we're gonna to be talking about three new products like I said before. The first product here is the Epic Trailers product. Now, this particular product I think will be very interesting to a lot of you guys on the channel because you guys do a lot of YouTube videos and trailers type film stuff. So this could be pretty interesting for you guys, but basically it's a pack full of, again, cinematic kind of epic trailers. And so they have a lot of cool stuff here, cool transitions, cool backgrounds, different color schemes. Lots of different themes here. My favorite are the ones that have actual texture. So the ones that are kind of just floating in space with atmosphere, those are pretty nice. They're pretty common. You see them a lot in movie trailers and titles and stuff like that. So it's pretty uh, pretty monotonous and kind of common to see. Um, so for example, this one right here, the very first one, Epic Trailer Deep Metal. Let's go ahead and apply it real quickly. Uh, it's gonna take a little while to kind of import everything, but it's pretty cool. It has some really nice shiny metal 3D text. Um, it, it kind of extrudes your own text for you. So if, if you kind of want that 3D look without having to dish money for Element 3D or Cinema 4D, this is a kind of a cool hack to kind of get that 3D looking text right here. And it is naturally kind of intensive. So I like to switch the resolution down to either half or a quarter right here, deep metal. If we hop into the composition under controls, we have some fade on and off options. So instead of uh, it fading on slowly in the beginning, uh, we can kind of just make it appear out of nowhere like this right here. And of course, if you want that obligatory letterboxing, you can go ahead and add that in here. It's also under the options under controls. So lots of really cool options, letterboxing options, color balance. You can kind of sh actually shift the hue of the whole thing to any color you want. There's, you can control the noise option. So there's small little cinematic grain that you can actually increase. Um, there's some lens distortion, some optic compensation stuff, motion blur, um, some camera options, and some vignetting. So we can turn that on and get some nice little vignetting, soft vignetting. And of course, we can actually control the flare color by shifting the color balance here. So if you want a different kind of color, like a orange color, it's all customizable. It's very, very well built, very full full of options here. You can even move the flare position if you kind of want to reposition uh, position it a different direction here. And you can actually animate this as well. So it's fully animatable, fully customizable, so you can change the color, all that stuff. You have some particles in the animation which you can actually animate as well. You can change the scale to like 120, whatever you want, make it a little bit larger. You can change the background color to maybe like a dark red color like this and you know, play around with the opacity of every, all the elements right here, brightness, contrast, everything. And of course, you can edit the text, which is the most important part. So we can call this AE Juice. We can maybe change the font to something a little bit cooler, medium or something like that. We'll go back in here, and then the text will update. And if you switch to full res, you're gonna see the really nice, reflective, kind of shiny, metallic 3D text that's self-extruded uh, with no plugins required, just fully After Effects, really nice just like this. I can see the details, very, very, very crisp, very nice, nice beveling. And all this can be customized right within After Effects with no plugins required. So really, really nice detail here. So these top few are pretty much the same. They're kind of like empty space, dark space with a lot of smoke background, smoke elements, flares. The animation is kind of pretty much the same for the most part, it's kind of just a gradual fly in or fade in. Now, my other favorite one in the pack is this ancient one right here. So make sure that you're not actually in a comp. Go ahead and click out of a comp here. And actually let's go ahead and bring this ancient one in. And so th these are a little bit different because they have some texture to them and they actually kind of have a separate theme. The rest are kind of similar. Um, I kind of wish that this pack had a little bit more variation, you know, in terms of um, text animation styles and whatnot. Um, it's all kind of like this dark, spacey, smoky particle type look, except for maybe these few texture ones right here. So I do wish that there was a little bit more options here, but I think they're very well done. They're very customizable. And if you're looking for this kind of dark gritty type stuff, this is kind of um, what you're after right here. So we'll turn this off. This is the kind of ancient title here. 
The texture is very, very, very high resolution. So the detail is really there. And again, if you go in here, you have the same controls as before, the letterbox thing, we can crank that down. Um, you have some flame elements that you can look at. Some nice extruded text with some nice shadows. Um, and if we kind of just zoom in here, you can really see the detail. And this is really at half resolution. So really nice detail, really cool stuff, really cool animations. Then you're kind of in the right place. But this is an awesome pack if you're trying to create, I guess, titles for movies or your short films or just quick little YouTube intros. This is really nice for that cinematic kind of epic trailer type look here. What really sells it to me is the 3D extrusion of the text and kind of the different text styles of the epic trailers. So that's kind of what the epic trailer looks like. Very niche again. Um, now the next product is actually something that I'm really, really excited for. And this is the Instagram stories pack. Now they did have some Instagram stories pack in their cybernetic type uh, pack here. But now they kind of brought that whole to a whole new level. There's tons and tons of categories in Instagram stories. And I think this is a lot more versatile for a lot of my audience and a lot of users in general, because everyone is using Instagram for marketing, for their social media, for their own personal social media. And so everyone can kind of benefit from, I guess, Instagram stories if you're on Instagram, whereas not everyone can kind of benefit from, I guess, epic dark type trailer type stuff here. And so you have some stuff like fashion categories, corporate categories where it's more about, you know, your simple, clean uh, transitions into slides and elements here. Music stories, which I think is a lot cooler. Kind of what you see in kind of like mainstream media right here, rock festivals, really common transitions, really nice, beautiful text shape elements and whatnot. Food stories, if you have a restaurant or a menu, you kind of show off foods. These are all really nice options for food. Very clean, very nice. Of course, we have sports. Nice little animations here, nice little titles. And this is really what I was going for. This is what I really wanted from the titles animation pack and um, the cybernetic stuff. Just really clean, nice, lots of options for Instagram stories. And this is exactly what I was looking for in terms of different styles. So the offer stories is kind of what I was really going after right here. This is where we get this really nice ribbon type animations, really nice text, a lot of shapes, little secondary animations. This is where I think can be really, really useful for advertisement campaigns. So other than the offer stories, which are very, very nice, my favorite are these backgrounds. Now these backgrounds can be used for anything. It can be used um, not just for Instagram stories, uh, but also for just motion graphics in general. And these are very, very clean, very clean, nice lines, gradients, shapes, textures. You can use this for pretty much YouTube backgrounds or just you know any background in general for your stories, for Snapchat. Um, very, very versatile here. And I'm, they have these little elements which you can actually build your own little thing. So the see more swipe up here, see more button right here. And so, you know, if you're advertising links and, you know, linking to external links, this is perfect for you. Um, you can change these to pretty much say whatever you want, like subscribe or, you know, buy now. So of course there's a lot of options here. You have a lot of transitions as well. So you have nice little transitions like this with all sorts of different colors, angles, speeds, wipes, all the cool stuff here. And then of course you have the X assets, which are pretty much miscellaneous assets that you can use for all sorts of things. These look very, very, very corporate. They can look a little too boring in my opinion compared to the other elements, but I guess this is why they're kind of like extra assets here. Um, you know, more for corporate. So this kind of looks like kind of corporate styling right here. Lots of cool stuff here. Um, rather than talk about, let's go ahead and just kind of show you how to set this up. So I do want to go ahead and let's find a really, really nice background which I like this first background here, background 01. We'll import that. It's gonna create a nice little background here. And of course you can create whatever resolution you want and it'll kind of adapt to the resolution, which is really, really nice. And so in this case it's 16 by nine, but you can make it, you know, 19 by six or whatever. Um, and let's go ahead and, you know, let's add a see more button right here. And just like that, we have that. And of course we can just move this down and you have this really nice animated background with an animated little call for action or call to action animation right here. And of course you can go into the controls right here and of course animate everything else and change everything else. So if I'm not a fan of the pink, we can create kind of like a dark purple, blue background here and really change the whole look of everything. Change the background lines to something else and really create a different look. And just like that, we have this really nice background with this animated text. And of course the text can be edited as well. You can change the fill color to whatever you want, change the text to um, subscribe. 
play around with the icon. If you want to replace that with the shape layers right here, modify that, whatever you want to do. And then you have your finished product right here, which again, can be used for Instagram, can be used for Facebook, YouTube, whatever you want. This is very, very versatile. And that's really not just scratching the surface of these other nicer, more intensive templates right here, which can drag in your own images and graphics and, you know, really have a good time with um, all this stuff right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this Offer 01 and get this really nice, gorgeous blue background with this really nice kind of slide in intro, anime in, really nice ribbon, 3D ribbon effect right here. And this is fully customizable. So we can go in here, edit all the text layers, edit all the colors and have full control over the whole animation, change the colors, change everything, hashtags, elements, and it's all within After Effects. And it's very, very straightforward. So this is something that just take a lot of work to do and set up in After Effects and Photoshop and Illustrator. You really have full element controls in this Instagram pack right here. So really great for marketing. If you're into some sort of social media marketing, this is the pack to get. I'm really happy about this pack. Now the last pack I wanna talk about here is the Cartoon Comics pack right here. Now this pack um, is one of those packs where it's very, 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 very cliche and very, very niche, right? So a lot of you guys will probably not be needing this particular pack per se but it does have some very, very unique styling. So if you're into sort of some sort of comedy or cartoon type stuff, you create cartoon type work on YouTube or animation of whatnot, um, then this is gonna be an interesting pack for you. Very like Capcom and all sorts of very nice kind of like basic 2D type animation. So a lot of elements as well. So kind of title effects yes, wow. Kind of like a very, kind of like corny. You would use it in a lot of like funny skits or you know, animations, commercial type stuff. Um, personally, I have really no use for these elements because I don't do that kind of work. But if you were into that kind of work, this would be really, really cool to have. Booms, next, sold, um, kiss elements. Now the really cool part about this pack is actually these backgrounds. Now these backgrounds are actually pretty cool right here. So I probably wouldn't use any of the elements above like the titles, but the backgrounds here are very, very nice. It kind of has like that anime vibe. Um, so if you're into that kind of stuff, this is pretty cool to have. You can kind of meme stuff with it um, and use this background for a lot of different elements here to kind of, you know, show showcase speed or hypnosis or um, confusion, really cool stuff. And the second part here is the freeze frame, which I'll talk about a little bit later. So it allows you to pretty much quickly animate freeze frames within After Effects without having to do all the manual, you know, annoying hard work. You still have the roto, but it's gonna be pretty quick to set up. So, um, you have some info bar stuff, some logo animations, you know, poofy stuff, fun, bouncy type um, animations, cartoon type stuff right here. Kind of like a Looney Tunes vibe. You have some stories. So all you know, always nice to have some stories in here to kind of keep the branding consistent on social media. And finally, some trailer scenes. So just you know, some place to create some titles, some cut scenes. So just really fun stuff, great for kids, great for like toy commercials and whatnot. I do wanna talk about the freeze frame here because this is pretty cool here. So for example, if I wanna create kind of a freeze frame like, like this right here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this freeze frame 01. That's gonna import this kind of template right here. And right now it doesn't really look very cool. If you go in here and we place our video or graphic in here, so in this case, I'm gonna delete this text layer. I'm gonna drag in my graphic, or in this case, this image of this Gundam picture. And this can be a, a video file as well, where you can, you can kind of control everything like that. But in this case, it's a little bit easier to show you with the picture. We go back in here, we go into the cut your object in this comp. Right here, it has a kind of like a basic cutout. But basically, we need to go ahead and hit the pen tool and just quickly roto around this guy right here. And so I'm gonna quickly roto this out. And for those of you guys who have done sort of like cutout animations, free stream animations, it's a lot of work to roto everything out and everything. And on top of that, you have to create the graphics as well. So this will kind of expedite the process a little bit. And this is a pretty rough roto, so don't, you know, don't, don't go this fast whenever you're actually rotoing for real. Um, but, should kind of get the idea across here. So we cut out our object right here. We go back into the freeze frame element. And you get this really, really cool kind of like focused look, just like this. You can see that our Gundam is cut out with a really nice cool background and it's stylized correctly to match the background. We can edit the text and say whatever we want. 
bold or something like that. It will go back into the freeze frame and we get some really nice stylized freeze frame animations. And you can also place again, like, like I said, a video in here, a media file as well. So you can play, you know, freeze frame like this and it'll animate. So it's very, very cool, very handy stuff. So that is the cartoon comic pack again. Like I said, very niche, very cliche, but the backgrounds and the freeze frame will make it very worth it if you're into this kind of stuff right here. Other than that, um, some pretty cool elements like backgrounds. Not my personal cup of tea, but it's a great pack for what it is and it matches the theme correctly. So if you're into cartoon comics, this is the pack to get here. So out of all the packs, I think that the Instagram stories pack is the most useful. It's very, very well built. Lots of options, lots of variations, colors, designs. So I highly recommend you guys check out their other packs here. Maybe these three on your cup of tea. Their top three packs are the Cyberpunk HUD pack, as well as their Kinetic Typography and their Seamless Transition. Out of all these packs, their Seamless Transitions will be probably the most useful for a lot of you guys out there. You know, tons and tons of transitions to kind of animate, play around, and kind of um, transition between your scenes. Really cool distortions, zooms, um, all sorts of really nice, cool stuff that can be used for pretty much every project here. Um, so definitely check out some of the more really cool zooming type um, transitions here in the trans in the seamless transition pack. Lots of categories, lots of options, really cool stuff. Next is their Cyberpunk HUD pack. Really cool elements here. Very, very, very well built, very customizable, but again, very niche. So if you're not into this kind of stuff here, then this might not be for you. But it's also a very, very cool, diverse pack for tech stuff, HUD stuff, display, sci-fi. So if you're into sci-fi stuff, um, this is definitely the place to be. They have a lot of text animation. They even have sound effects in this pack. So it's very, very cool. It's very versatile for these kind of things. Um, so definitely check it out. And of course, their kinetic typography, if you're into kinetic type. Again, not their strongest pack in my opinion, but it's also very, very cool and very versatile. And if you're into this kind of stuff again, then this is kind of where you want to be. But this is the AE Juice Pack Manager. We talked about the new cartoon pack, Instagram stories, and Epic Trailer. Check out their website at AE Juice. They have a lot of free plugins and free products as well. They have a lot of free packs that you can check out and download for free. They were kind enough to sponsor today's video. And of course, I'm always 100% honest with you guys. If their products suck, I will always let you guys know, as always. Now, they were also kind enough to actually give away two I Want It All bundles. So they're giving away two of everything that they create to you guys, all 26 packs. They're giving two bundles of those to two of you guys out there. And how you enter is that all you need to do is subscribe to both of our channels our channel that you're watching it right now on, and of course, A Juice's channel, and comment and like this video down below and tell me what you like best about these three packs right here, or what's your favorite pack in general. So comment down below what you guys like about these packs, like this video, and then in two weeks, we'll select a winner, and two of you guys will get pretty much everything that A Juice creates. Pretty cool stuff. We wanna thank A Juice again for making this possible. Love their products, love their stuff, which is why I kind of showcase their stuff on this channel. So those are three new A Juice products. Hopefully you guys find them pretty cool. Don't forget to enter in the contest down below and we'll select the winners in two weeks. Until next time, guys, my name is Vincent Wynn from The Creative Dojo and have a great Thanksgiving.